Hey everybody, I'm Ricky at Honda. Hey, good morning fans. Uh, Ricky at Honda again. Today we're going to talk about the the IVTM4 or Intelligent Variable Torque Modes and the in various vehicles from Honda. Uh, it's available in the Passport, Pilot, and Ridgeline. Uh, today I'll be showing it to you in a uh, 21 Passport Sport, which is this button right here. You can change your variable modes as far as uh, with the all-wheel drive system, and I'll talk a little bit about those. All right, I showed you how to select through them. Now let's talk about each mode here for a second. Uh, normal mode, what that's gonna do, this will be best for your everyday driving. Um, it's basically to help you get the best fuel economy with, a, with, an, all, with an all wheel drive vehicle. Uh, what normal will do is you know, transfer power upon acceleration to the rear, kind of balance it out a little bit um, and cornering as well and help you, you know, keep a little bit more stability. Now if I switch down to snow mode what that does with the vehicle uh it basically softens your throttle response uh in slippery conditions so you, you know you're not using as much pedal pressure to limit your wheel spin plus it transfers power to the rear a little bit to uh to avoid slippage as well now if i go down to mud what this does is it limits the amount of traction control and uh, analog braking it allows a little more wheel spin to kind of get you out of these slippery situations. Plus, it also transfers transfers a little bit of that power to the rear as well to get you a little bit more balanced power in that slippery conditions. And now, uh, as far as and that goes, which, you know, it's not going to be like a traditional four-wheel drive vehicle. It is an all-wheel drive system, so it does have its limitations. But the good thing about it is sand mode will be just like the mud mode a little bit. It's going to limit the um, stability of traction control system um, and also soften the throttle response just a little bit. Or, I'm sorry, increases the throttle response a little bit. So you can put a little bit more power down when you need it. Um, it has probably like the lowest amount of stability control and traction control uh, all the modes. So basically it gives you basically like the full power of the vehicle. Um, as you see the like the little uh, trash control in the bottom left there, uh, that light came on, letting you know that system has turned off. So of the two modes, or of the four modes, I'm sorry, um, the normal and the sand mode are probably gonna give you your most capability. Like if you're really in a situ sticky situation, say like, in, if you're out in the, you know, just happen to be driving through like a, a muddy path or, or whatever, you could actually switch to sand mode and you'll probably get more capability out of it you would, and then say the mud mode. Still very capable vehicle offline. I wish I could demonstrate this for you today, but this is a new car. Uh, if, it, if somebody wants to loan me one, and I'll kind of put it through a minimal pace of, off, you know, to some little trails that we have and such we have right here, kind of demonstrate some of the features, but. As far as that goes, very capable system. Out of the 3.5 liter V6, 280 horsepower, close to 300 foot pounds of torque. So it's still a very capable vehicle. Let's switch this back to normal so the next person get in it won't feel like it's <laughs> bogged down or anything like that because it does it does change the variation on the on the transmission. Again, this is just a quick simple look at it, just to kind of switch through the modes, explain them a little bit. If you have any other questions, want to come see one, come drive one. Um, I'm here at Lejeune Honda in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Ricky and Honda. Also, click that subscribe button on the bottom. More subscribers help. That way you get, and also click the bell for notifications. That way when you're informed, you're informed when I post something new. That way you get all the latest updated information on anything I do Honda-wise. Anyway, see you next time. It's Ricky and Honda.